Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here and today we are making some homemade Belgian waffles. They taste amazing. Good times. Yeah, internet, they look good, right? I even had to invest in a Belgian waffle making thing as well, which incidentally, I'm giving away at the end of the video. The actual one that I used, you can have a piece of my kitchen uh, in your home. Uh, so this was on the recipe selector on my Virgin Kitchen. It was either peanut butter cheesecake or these homemade Belgian waffles. And people like Kay Lons, Brittany Lamphler, Aidan Lund, Molly McNevin, Molly McNevin, and Mike Oxlong uh, voted, but many others as well, lots of other names as well. So thank you all for voting, voted for these waffles. They're so, so good, so easy, speedy, yummy. You can have them warm. You can sort of freeze them and store them, whatever you want to do. Love it, and it'll love you back. Hit pause on the video now, write down all these ingredients. This is how you do it. Start off with a mixing bowl and a sieve. So add in your flour, your sugar, mine was a little bit lumpy, so the sieve worked out well, and your baking powder. Now you want to just sieve that all in together, so all your dry ingredients are in one bowl and nice and fine. Push that mixing bowl to one side and grab a slightly smaller bowl and combine together your egg yolks, the milk, your butter which has been melted, and your vanilla extract. Now give that a little mix initially, and then you want to combine it with your dry ingredients. So just give it a good stir together, it'll be quite thick and lumpy initially, but you really want to mix it well until it's nice and smooth. Finally, in a separate mixing bowl, grab your egg whites and just whisk them up with an electric whisk until they're nice and stiff, and then dump them into our batter mixture already and just start to fold that in again with a spatula until it's smooth too. With our waffle batter done, it was time to pour it into our hot waffle maker. So we've got a ladle, and just under a ladle's worth, pour that in there, and it should spread out nice and evenly. Close the lid down, and don't open it for two minutes, otherwise you'll open it, and it'll still be wet and stuff. So let it cook initially, lift it open, and you'll see it sort of firmed up, but then close it again until you get that shade that you're after. Once you've cooked them all up, just put them on some kitchen towel just to cool down a little bit, but you do want them warm. That's the best taste ever, baby. And I finished mine off with a good coating of honey, but you could use maple syrup, golden syrup, whatever you like, a handful of blueberries, and a dusting of icing sugar. And that is looking stonking. Mmm. Holy wow, guys, these taste sensational. They're still warm because they're fresh, they're crispy, but kind of light and airy in the middle. So they're egg white. High five egg white has really done the job in there. If you would like to win the actual waffle maker that I use to make mine, um, all you need to do is give this video a thumbs up, be subscribed to My Virgin Kitchen, and leave a comment if you like. I'll just pick someone from random wherever you are in the world, so it doesn't matter wherever you live, I'll send it there. It might take a while if you live in China, but we'll get it there, so you could win that. But if you did like this video anyway, uh, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment. Send me a picture at my virgin kitchen and let me know what you would put on your Belgian waffles. Thanks guys, see you next time.